there's an option to take action and isolate host. What does this do? Let's find out. It should isolate our host. <laughs> so it's no longer on the network. Let's leave a comment due to multiple. So isolated due to multiple events. Does this actually isolate our host? Let's find out. Confirm. And what does that look like? Does it um, remove it from the network? Does it power it off? Let's see. Hello and welcome to IT Security Labs. And today I'm going to show you how to register a Windows machine into Fleet for Elastic Agent Management. This will allow us to install endpoint detection on this Windows machine. As a requirement, you should already have your Kali Purple installed in whatever platform you're using. In this case, I'm using VMware. ESXi, but the series that I show you on this channel shows you how to install Kali Purple using VirtualBox. And once you sign into your Kali Purple in your machine, go to here, go to Fleet, or the way under Management. You should already have a Fleet set up as well from my previous video in my in this series. So check out the playlist if you don't have one. Click Add Agent. I do have a few policies that I created last time. Uh, let's use Elastic Defend policy. This just comes with the default Elastic Defend and a systems metrics. And we leave it to enroll in Fleet because we already have Fleet running Windows. I would copy this. Then go to our Windows machine. It's open Notepad here. And I just like to copy and paste all those commands. Okay. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to install Elastic Agent and enroll it in our fleet right here using this token we add dash dash insecure and dash dash force to make sure that things actually work all right so once this is ready this is my command prompt i'll use that one for enrollment uh, but for now let's use powershell to download this first for whatever reason i've had a hard time with powershell installing correctly so i like to use it for downloading then the terminal the command line will be used for the actual installation and also the enrollment i have no idea why but it is given me a time in powershell just hanging so we'll use powershell for this just the download and then ex extracting so let's make sure that we're on the desktop Okay, now let's run this. This should give us a folder right there, as you can see. Then it's extracting it, so we should get another one right away when it's done. That way we can keep track of it. So it's still, exp there we go. That's the second one that has been extracted. So this should be finishing any moment from now. Make sure that the expansion finishes first. And right here, I said, hey, Elastic Agent. Let's install force insecure. Here's a URL. Here's the enrollment token. After a while, it will say successfully enrolled Elastic Agent. You have to wait. It takes a while. And here's Elastic Agent is successfully installed. If we go back to our machine, notice that after a while, it will say that the Elastic Agent uh, is there with defend. We can test this by maybe try an html smuggling uh, alert i'll show you what that looks like here in a little bit then we can see if an alert shows up in our elastic sim that way we can verify that it really indeed is working okay so after our machine now has an elastic agent and we are sure that it's working we need to move on to html smuggling now when someone gets a payload usually it's going to be through an email that forces them to download a file in this case, through HTML smuggling, we'll hide our payload inside of the HTML page. So this is going to be on the client side. The payload itself will be hidden inside of the HTML page. And when it's loaded on the victim, the HTML page will download it as an executable, in this case, to the victim. So in order for us to do that, we need to start by going to our Kali machine. In our attacker machine here, I need to clone this repository. This is um, an embed in HTML page. I mean, there's a lot of different templates out there, but I like this one more because it uses the Python here. In and 
And from this Python code here, we can see that we are supporting any of these MIME types, like um, PowerPoint, Excel, if you wanted to em embed those files here. But I'm going to embed straight a payload directly into this page here. Then uh, it does do the Excel page here. I mean, it does use uh, RC4 encryption. So it will try to encrypt the payload as it's uh, delivered to the victim. However, this still gets caught by uh, Windows Defender and everything else. So we we'll use this one, but you can use any generic HTML smuggling templates that you find online. To make it work, we come here and say git clone. And then, of course, go to this path here and clone the repository. Once you clone the repository, cd into the repository. And in this case, in the repository, you'll see this and this Python script here. So let's generate our payload. I'm going to use revshells.com online. This will just generate my payload for me. In this case, I want it to be an MSO Venom, Metaprator, staged. Um, this is my Kali Linux. Here's port 555. So th that's going to generate my payload for me. And it's going to be called reverse.exe. So I'll just come here and let's generate it in here. So while it's generating, uh, notice that it's you going to use port 555. Let's go back here and say, uh, if I wanted to my listener, it gives me MSF console listener. Let's start the listener. We know that it won't work here because this will be blocked. But there is our reverse.exe that just worked. In a different tab, I'm going to use my listener to make sure that we see if we can get a reverse shell. And while the listener is starting, let's run our Python script to embed our payload. In this case, it's right here. Okay. okay. So I say, hey, Python 2, let's embed our reverse shell in the file. And I would like it to be in index.html. Okay, files successfully created. So in output, ls output, here's index.html. Let's go to output and let's just create a Python simple reverse, uh, Python server here. Python 3 minus m http.server on, let's put it on 9090. That's my my server is so on port 9090. Now, if I go to my victim here, we know that this victim has an Elastic Agent already installed. So first, let's disable Windows Defender, make sure that it's not in the way, so that we know that it's our Elastic Agent that's just in the uh, working here. So let's go to Virus in Threats, Manage Settings, and as you can see, root term pr protection is all enabled, I mean disabled. So the way that we will deliver this to the victim is maybe we say, hey, visit my website on HTTP or 9090. Notice that the moment I hit enter here, it's going to download the payload because that's HTML smuggling for us. As you can see, Chrome blocked it. Down here, Chrome blocked it. So Google Chrome is already getting in the way. So we don't like that. Let's open, uh, oh, there we go. Even Elastic Security is now complaining about it. So we are already blocking this. So let's go back to here. Let's check for our alerts. Let's check this one out first. Okay, so we detected a few tactics here according to this. But that doesn't tell me much. We know that uh, there's malware prevention. Okay, so here as you can see, we have our malicious file and it was uh, quarantined here. There's one thing that we can do. If you go to actions, this is what I'm interested in. Can we isolate host? What does respond look like? Let's choose respond first. Here's my response console. Submit a response action. So we can give it a command to respond to, to this. Or there's an option to take action and isolate host what does this do let's find out it should isolate our host 
so it's no longer on the network let's leave a comment due to multiple so isolated due to multiple events does this actually isolate our host let's find out confirm and what does that look like does it um, remove it from the network does it power it off let's see go back to our host oh look at that <laughs> so isolating our host uh definitely takes it down so in this case uh it's powering this is my remote desktop rdp that host is no longer on the network it's isolated so let's go check it out in my vmware was uh, my remote connection of course uh got banned so if you are with the attacker my remote connection will be kicked out so let's sign into vmware and check it out so let, let's launch let's just launch the cons and check the network that's what i'm interested in okay so it's still on the network but notice what it says your host has been isolated from network due to potential security issue please contact your system administrator so i guess uh, the user does get a notification that their host has been isolated but what does that mean does it mean that we don't have internet access ping 8888 all right we do not have internet access let's ping our firewall 2.16.0. One. All right, so this host has been isolated. So I hope you learned something here. Uh, obviously, uh, we can do more with Elastic Sim, and I just wanted to show you that this is a good place to really practice our social uh, security skills. In this case, um, endpoint response, and we were able to isolate your host, and you can see what that looks like. So if you like more of this, please remember to like and subscribe to my channel. Guys, have a good one.